Today I have an add-on which I think you're gonna like. So this one has to do with prototyping. You know, we often see in other game engines like Unity and Unreal where people are quickly creating cubes and prototyping that way. So I wanted to add something to Godot that makes it just a little bit nicer. Um, the first add-on I'm gonna recommend that you get is gonna be the Kenny Prototyping Textures add-on. Uh, you can get this right from the asset library. This one has just a whole bunch of really useful textures. When you're kind of in that level design stage and you just wanna slap a texture on something and get your grid lines kind of lined up. So the add-on that I created, it's called UV Tools and it's not on the asset library yet, but you can get it from uh, my GitHub. I'm gonna put the link below. It's like a typical add-on. You're gonna find the folder with UV Tools and you're going to just drop it in your project. So then you go to projects, project settings, and then just enable UV tools. Once UV tools is enabled, you can just right click on your scene and then drop in a proto node. So right now I just have a proto cube. The idea behind this is that it's a cube, but it kind of does some special UV stuff. So let me try to show you. So I've had this cube here, it has a surface on it. I'm gonna go ahead and drop one of those textures on the albedo. So let's go to the Kenny textures. I'm just gonna do maybe texture three. So the first thing you'll notice is that it does a cube projection. So all of these grid lines are um, perfectly in line on the, on the cube. The other cool thing that it does is it's going to automatically reproject the UV as you scale it. So let's say I wanna make this a floor. I'm gonna scale up the X and scale up the Z and maybe scale down the Y. So what you've noticed right away is that it's not stretching the texture it's repeating it um, in a very regular way. So that's kind of useful. And uh, the other way you can control this, it has auto update on, which means if you modify the scale of this, so if we come over here to scale and we shrink the scale, you're gonna notice it's not actually, it looks like the texture is not moving, but that's because it's actually reprojecting it. It can be a little slow if you do it this way, because every single time the scale changes, it's trying to run that script. But the other way you can do it is just by clicking the manual reload button, which will automatically bring the mesh back in. So I'm gonna do a couple other things here. I'm gonna wrap this floor in a static body 3D, and I'm gonna drop a collision shape in here. So I'm just gonna drop in a box shape here with um, the same dimensions as before. So that should match our mesh. And then I'm gonna just shift it down ever so slightly such that it's just sitting at the zero level. Let me drop in another proto cube. And this one, I'm probably gonna put a different texture on. So let's go to albedo and let's come down to orange maybe. And we'll do texture, let's do texture two to keep it consistent. So once again, we get that nice texture on here. We can see the grid lines are lining up perfectly. So that's cool. And then maybe I will scale this. So let's do a scale of 10 on X, and then maybe a scale of two on Z. I'm gonna wrap this one in a rigid body and place a collision shape on it. So I'm gonna do the same thing. We'll do a box shape and I'll do 10 and two. Cool. The other thing I might do is I'm gonna set up an environment just real quick and we will add a directional light and pull it up and then maybe tilt it down. And let's turn on some shadows while we're here. So we're gonna take my rigid body. I'm just gonna pull it straight up and maybe do some rotation. And let's just let this run. I'm also gonna add a camera here, so we'll drop that in. And I'm gonna use a shortcut here, uh, Control-Alt-M, which aligns my camera to whatever I'm currently looking at, which is kind of a cool little um, function. So this scene is already set as my main, and I'm just gonna go ahead and run it. So you see, very quickly, we get some boxes with those textures wrapped on them and some physics uh, in the game engine. So this is a real quick one. Uh, I hope to build on this tool more and we'll see if it gets any interest from people uh, in prototyping and things like that. But I think it's pretty cool. And yeah, so that's, uh, that's it for this one. Download the add-on, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.